When people imagine what they would do if they became president, they believe that they would be granted the ultimate power to easily make their country a better place. However, the president's power is constrained by a system of checks and balances. In South Korea, the president represents a nation in foreign relations, enforces laws passed by the legislature, directs the executive agencies, authorizes war, and proposes legislative bills. If I became president, I would seek to minimize child abuse incidents, end period poverty, and lower suicide rates. These three feats may seem far-fetched, but they will ensure the protection of citizens who are left unprotected by society and the current government. After a case of alleged child abuse led to the death of Chongin, a 16-month-old girl, Koreans were outraged, especially because no action was taken by the police after three separate reports of child abuse. If I became president, I would push for laws that ensure that reports of child abuse are acted on immediately, and those who fail to take action will face fines and criminal charges. An executive agency will be created to protect children from child abuse while providing programs that are directed towards children's physical, emotional, and developmental needs. The agency will provide training for teachers and doctors to help them identify incidents of child abuse among their students and patients. Government-funded counselors and therapists will be stationed in schools and local community centers. Lastly, as a preventative measure, a bill will be proposed to support families with a history of intergenerational abuse, alcohol or substance abuse, or economic stress, with financial aid and therapy due to high chances of child abuse. Children are our country's future, and it is our priority to protect them and ensure that each of them lives a happy and healthy life. The second issue I would want to tackle as president would be period poverty, which affects women who do not have access to safe hygienic sanitary products or who face public stigma. Period poverty can lead to low school attendance, infections from unhygienic materials, or low self-esteem from social stigma. In South Korea, low-income women cannot afford sanitary products due to Korea having one of the highest costs of sanitary products in Asia. With the average price per pad at 331 won compared to the 156 won in Denmark and 181 won in the U.S., some teenagers are forced to use foot insoles instead of pads or even miss school. Today in Korea, 10 public facilities in Seoul provide free sanitary products, but if I became president, I would push for a bill to allow this program to be proposed nationwide. Free sanitary products would be easily attainable for everyone in public areas, such as schools, parks, and museums. Lastly, to address the public stigma portion of period poverty, a Proper education in schools would be carried out so the stigma would fade and women do not have to be ashamed of their periods. In order for a country to be sustainable, it needs to be economically and socially viable, which means we have to protect all of our citizens, including those who are contemplating suicide. Therefore, the last task I want to accomplish if I became president is to lower Korea's suicide rates. OECD reports that Korea has the highest suicide rate in the world, with 23 people per 100,000 people, with the main contributing factors being the elderly and students. The reasons behind these suicide rates vary from economic issues, mental illnesses, and academic pressures. And another executive agency would be created with the aim of lowering suicide rates by preventative measures for depression and mental illnesses and the provision of economic support and therapy. Financial aid and counseling will be provided for the elderly, especially for those who are low income and live apart from their families due to high rates of elderly choosing to end their lives to avoid being a burden to their families. Counselors for students would be funded by the agency and stationed in all schools to help students who are going through extreme stress or depression. I would also push for a more holistic approach to the college entry process in order to stem the suicides that are caused by academic pressures especially those regarding the sunung. These three goals would be difficult to accomplish, especially with all the boundaries to the president's power, but they need to be accomplished because many citizens are suffering without protection. Children are our country's future, so we must do everything we can to eliminate child abuse. A quarter of the population has regular periods, so period poverty must be ended by making sanitary products free and attainable while educating people to break the stigma. With Koreans of all classes, ages, genders taking their lives at alarming rates, we have to protect the 
health of our citizens, and the sustainability of our nation by lowering suicide rates. These three, although the president does not have the ultimate power that many would imagine, if I became president, I would strive to minimize child abuse incidents, end period poverty, and lower suicide rates so that we can show that our country is willing to protect all of our citizens, including those who are left unprotected today. Thank you.